What's up guys, it's King Canuck here. I'm coming out to you with a brand new video. I'm going to be playing some TDM on the Mount Crown Raceway. I was going to say something else. I don't even know what the map was called for a second. But I'm using the Holger 556. This quite possibly would be, might be my last MW3 gameplay video. So, I'm just going to try and play and get a nuke. We'll see. The Holger is probably one of the staple guns I've been using all year. Because it's been so good. So consistent. And this build I have with it right now has no recoil on it so it's a pretty good class up for me to use i like you using it so i'm gonna try and get this nuke here to end off uh quite possibly the end of mw3 for me gameplay wise besides showing my class setup or my end of year max level uh stats but uh mw3 was a very good year honestly i really enjoyed playing it this year had a lot of good post-launch content. The game was, in general, pretty good. I actually think this was probably one of the better COD games we've ever had. Definitely wouldn't be putting it in, like, the top five or any of that. But, like, for the most recent COD, it's probably one of the best ones. It's definitely not better than, like, Black Ops Cold War. Like, but it is the best COD since Cold War. And, yeah, it's uh, almost the end of the life cycle, which is crazy to think. Like, this game, this year's flown by, like... This game's been out for basically a year at this point, and it's crazy to, to see that this game is... That it's already been a year playing this game. But it's been a very good year. Enjoyed playing this game. The most I've played a COD since Cold War with, I think... Don't know how much time played I have on this game exactly. We'll probably see at the end, and I die without getting a nuke. Could still get my nuke, though. Or not, it doesn't matter. If it's how I kill games, all the it's all good but yeah it's my most time played since cold war it's surprising don't think think vanguard and modern warfare 2 don't even have that much time played compared to this game and uh i don't think modern warfare 2019 like a lot of the like a lot of the games besides the black ops games i haven't really played i think they've all been pretty lackluster in my opinion besides Tri trick's always a good game though and I'm excited for Black Ops 6, which is probably the time of uploading this a couple days away. But the time of recording this, it's, I think, a week and a half. Just trying to get as much gameplay as I can. Just so I don't have to play this game after I hit max level. And then can start playing. Then I could delete, or delete this game and start playing Black Ops 6 when it launches. I still have so many levels to go, though. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Like, I haven't played it all since the beginning of the season. Like, this is... I only started playing this season, like... What is it? Like, a week ago? Maybe not even. Because <clears throat> I stopped playing. Cause sometimes there's, like, that point where you're gaming, and, you know, you play a game so long, you just get kind of... Just bored of it, in a sense. And just play something else, which that's what I've been doing. But feel like a uh, Black Ops Six though, from the beta. The beta was very good. I did enjoy the beta. The movement was very crisp in that game. I felt like it was it was good. Considering when I played the beta and I came back to this game, the movement was was horrible. Like, but I was used to the other movement. That's why the army movement or whatever it's called. <coughs> But we're... It's crazy. A week away, though. Excited. Definitely going to have a lot of gameplay. Going to try and get... Going to get masked. I'm going to grind that game super hard, though, man. Holy fuck. That game's going to be super fun to play. I feel like it's going to be the best call we've had in... A very long time. Wish people would connect on the other team, though. Oh, my God. No one's connecting still. This is crazy. And if you're this far in the video, yes, I do reverse boost. I've said it multiple times. Like it's it's pretty obvious. I've made videos about it. Like I know it's a scummy thing to do, and I personally I don't care. I, it's how I want to play. It doesn't really affect like the thing is it doesn't really affect people that don't reverse boost. It only affects the shitters that are getting smoked. Those are the only people it really affects. Okay, 
Where are you? Okay, I need to call in. I see that kid down there. Okay. Got the nuke there. We're, there we go. Holy shit, I have a lot of kills. Not my most. I, I kind of wish I recorded every game I played. Because I've dropped, I think, 97 kills in a TDM game. Which is absurd. And I need to call in this nuke quick. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, those gameplays where I've had 97 kills was crazy. It was obvious, like, the game went over 100 kills. Because when I call in the nuke, uh, the swarm was getting me kills still. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this 80 plus kill. I don't know how many kills. It has to like load up the, the MGB kills. Yeah, you see over 100 kills for the whole team combined. But 80 kills. And I guess I'll show you guys the class setup here for the Holger. And so here's the class setup for the Holger 556. Five, you can copy it down. Obviously, this is like the end of the game. Like this, this game is basically done. But if you're still playing this game, here's a good class setup to use. And yeah, here's all the perks and attach or the perks and all that. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.